I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's what you need to know today. First, two men say the bond for the suspect in their brother's killing was a slap in the face from the city. Timothy Harris was shot eight times in Avondale November 1st. 27-year-old Cordarius Robinson was later arrested and released the same day on a $50,000 bond. He may have paid less than $5,000 to be released. The bond was set by Judge Christy Sell. Robinson will appear in court December 15th. One person is dead and four are injured after a crash on Interstate 24. It happened in Monteagle Sunday morning. Authorities say an 82-year-old man driving the wrong way died when he hit a minivan head-on. John Nagata of Huntsville was killed. A family from Wisconsin was in the minivan. Three children and one adult were taken to the hospital. Nearly 1,800 TVA employees have been affected by a data breach. Workers who use TVA-issued credit cards for certain Hilton hotels were impacted after hackers got their data. TVA says the employees are getting new credit cards. Tennessee American Water is offering to buy and take over Signal Mountain's water system, but the city has not requested any proposals and says it's not ready to commit to anything just yet. A public meeting is scheduled from 6 to 8, December 15th at the Signal Mountain Country Club. The United Auto Workers won an election at Chattanooga's Volkswagen plant. More than 70% of maintenance workers voted to unionize. That gives the UAW its first foothold at a foreign automaker in the South. Volkswagen fought the election, saying it will fracture the workforce. The automaker plans to appeal. If it wins, the election results could be invalidated. Officials say cleaning up the Barwick Mills site in Lafayette will take up to nine months. The plant burnt down in mid-November. The cause of the fire remains unknown. Craft beer market The Casual Pint says it will open another shop, this time in Hickson. The area's first location on the North Shore opened last year. The Hickson shop is scheduled to open in the second quarter of 2016. A new survey says the majority of Tennesseans support a gas tax increase for roads. The state gas tax, which hasn't been raised since 1988, is now just over 21 cents per gallon. Two-thirds of respondents say they're willing to pay an extra two cents per gallon, and more than half say they would pay eight cents. The Army has identified two pilots killed in a helicopter crash near Fort Campbell. Officials say the pilots were Alex Caraballolian of Puerto Rico and Kevin M. Weiss of Illinois. The investigation into the crash is ongoing. Finally, Georgia's Secretary of State says his office will offer a year of free credit monitoring. It comes after the department mistakenly released more than six million citizens' personal data. The monitoring will cost Georgia more than one million dollars. Turning to weather, today will be sunny with a high near 60 degrees. Tonight's low will be around 37. That's it for today's news. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news at timesfreepress.com.